Welcome back boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. It's another Thursday, it's another cocktail video. Uh, my name is Georgi and if you're watching for the first time, welcome to the channel, yeah? Welcome, stay around, don't forget, many things happening here. Usually on Monday I do Monday drum, but this Monday I kind of passed it because due to some uh, personal issues, obviously, so I didn't have time to record it. However, to compensate this today I have four different old fashions for you and uh boy i can't wait to share them with you so if you're new to the channel again don't forget you can always subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos let me just have a little sip of my uh, lovely brandy old-fashioned wisconsin style and if you're hearing this noise this is the rain it's been raining it's been storming uk it's been crazy however that's not gonna stop me to present cocktails. So sit back, relax. I have four wonderful variation on the old fashioned for you. So if you're ready, let's crack on. The first on the list is the port old fashioned. And for this, we're gonna start with our bourbon, which is 60 ml directly in your mixing glass. Next ingredient is Port. Use any vintage port or any good port, only 22 and a half mil or three quarter of ounce. Next ingredient, we have seven and a half mil or one quarter of the ounce maple syrup. And finally, we have six drops of Bob's Abbott's bitters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is it. Now add some ice to your mixing glass. Give it a good stir. For about 20 to 30 seconds to dilute enough and chill the cocktail before serving over a large cube of ice in a chilled old-fashioned glass. Here is your glass. Add a large cube of ice, clear ice, or if you don't have, just fill up the glass with ice. Grab a strainer and serve your port old-fashioned. For garnish, we're gonna use a nice orange zest. Express on the top, rim the glass, and just drop the zest inside. Cheers! Next on the list is the Maple Rome Old Fashioned, boys and girls. Very simple, three ingredients cocktail. You can use Havana 7 or your favorite aged rum. I'm gonna be using today Flor de Cania, seven years old. So we're starting with 60 ml of Flor de Cania. Again in mixing glass. Next ingredients, of course, is the maple syrup, 15 ml or half an ounce. This is gonna bring enough sweetness to the cocktail. And final ingredient, of course, the mighty Angostura bitters. So only two dashes but I'm gonna put three because as you know, I like my cocktails a little bit bitter. Then filled up with ice. And let's give it a good stir. Again, we're going to serve in a nice frozen old fashioned glass over a large cube of ice. And of course, it's gonna be garnished with orange zest. So, strainer. Wonderful gold color, it's just fantastic. And of course, a good orange zest, just to extract some of the oils on the top, rim the top of the glass, and just drop your orange zest inside. And this is the Maple Rom Old Fashioned. Cheers. Next on the list is the almond old-fashioned, but this is tequila based. So 
you probably heard of the bourbon based old fashioned, the almond old fashioned, but today we're gonna make a tequila based old fashioned. And this is essential here to follow exactly the instructions. So first you're gonna start with a frozen old fashioned glass. And we're gonna start with uh, 30 ml of tequila reposado. Then two ice cubes. And we're gonna start stirring this. Now, it's very essential to follow this, so it's gonna give uh, the perfect dilution and it's gonna be a perfect balance, okay? So when you stir for a little bit, then you're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. First, 7.5 ml of agave syrup, which is one quarter of the ounce. I'm gonna leave it to go down. And then 7.5 ml of amaretto, which is again one quarter of the ounce. And finally, two dashes of Angostura orange bitters or any orange bitters you have. One, two, and a few drops. Then you're gonna add two more pieces of ice and you stir more. As you can see, we're diluting more and more the cocktail, making sure the agave syrup it's incorporated proper with the tequila and of course with the amaretto. And the ice is going to drop down because obviously it's diluted. And now it's coming the second shot of the tequila, so another 30 ml of tequila reposado or obviously another ounce. It needs to be tequila reposado, don't make it with silver. Make it with añejo or reposado, it's much better. Give it a little more stir and add two more pieces of ice. And keep stirring. Now the cocktail is diluted perfectly, it's uh, balanced perfect, it's ready, it's incorporated the ingredients fantastic. And if you still feel you need more ice, you can add one more cube. But in this case, I'm absolutely perfect. Again, we're gonna garnish with orange zest. Just extract the oils on the top, rim your glass and drop inside. And this boys and girls is the almond old fashioned tequila based. Cheers. And our final old fashioned for today is the brandy old fashioned Wisconsin style. And it's again, totally different approach to making the cocktail. So first of all, we're gonna start with a big wedge of orange wedge directly in your glass. And you're gonna grab your maraschino cherries. There you go. And drop one whole cherry inside directly in the glass with the syrup. Like this, wonderful. Next ingredient, it's uh, just a 5 ml or a bar spoon of a simple sugar syrup or dark Moscovato sugar, which one you have available for you. I will use my simple syrup, sugar simple syrup. And finally, we need two dashes of Angostura aromatic bitters. So one, two and three. As always, you know, I like my bitters. And we're gonna give a good muddling to all of these. What you need to do is basically release the orange juice, the oils from the peel. You smash this maraschino cherry to release the lovely sweet flavor from the cherry. Basically what you need to do here, it's kind of a create a paste on the bottom of the glass. That's all it is. Give it a really good muddling. There you go. With that, just a little bit of crushed ice. Then you grab your brandy, no cognac, brandy. So use your favorite brandy. I am using Cardinal Mendoza Nebulis, which is a smoked brandy from Spain, but you can use your favorite brandy. It's absolutely fine. So we're gonna use 60 ml of the brandy. Directly in the glass. Give it a little stir so you, you incorporate the orange, the maraschino cherry, the bitters and everything. And we're gonna top up with more crushed ice. There you go. Fantastic. 
for garnish a nice orange slice so I'm gonna get half of the slice like this on the top with a bamboo stick and I'm gonna grab another maraschino cherry so look at this this is how it's gonna work you put the bamboo through the orange then you pop the maraschino cherry on the stick and you fold the orange on the side and you garnish your brandy old-fashioned Wisconsin style guys and this is absolutely delicious cheers thank you so much for watching boys and girls thank you so much and if you are stick till the end that it's absolutely fantastic don't forget to like this video so we can show YouTube that whatever happened on this channel it's worth for them to kind of give it a little push okay also if you're new to the channel if you stick around don't forget to subscribe every Monday Monday drums and every Thursday a cocktails of course with uh, whatever I do on Monday drums or just random like today however there's few new things coming after the new year so I wish you a lovely holidays if I don't see you by then of course I will be here to make cocktails but you may be busy celebrating however thank you once again for watching thank you for tuning in and don't forget I'm always here if you need me send me a message on Instagram or post a comment and I'll reply straight away but for now I'm gonna leave to enjoy my old fashions and as always I love you and I leave you now bye bye